Hello everybody and welcome to World Photography Day. I'm Russell Lord, the Freeman Family Curator of Photographs here at the New Orleans Museum of Art. And I'm Brian Piper, the Mellon Foundation Curatorial Fellow for Photography. And we're excited to answer some of your questions, so we look forward to receiving them. Okay, Russell, our first question today is, why is today World Photography Day? Well, Brian, uh, today is World Photography Day because exactly 180 years ago, uh, Louis Daguerre published the manual on how to make a daguerreotype. Uh, it wasn't the first time that people in Paris had heard about the daguerreotype, but uh, Daguerre was a very clever and very savvy businessman, and he first announced that he had achieved the invention in January of 1839, but he said, I'm not going to tell anybody how to make it until we secure funding and rights, and so he did so, uh, a, very, uh, a very healthy pension from the French government, and on August 19th, uh, published the manual on how to make daguerreotypes. There you have it. Okay, Russell, so the next question we received is about who are some local photographers that are in the collection here at uh, There's so many great ones. Going back to the beginnings of photography, we have some daguerreotypes by photographers who ran studios uh, along Canal Street, for example. We've got J. Dearborn Edwards, the first uh, maker of paper photographs in New Orleans in the 1850s. Uh, everybody knows E.J. Belloc and the Storyville portraits, which were printed by Lee Friedlander, who is not from here, but has been here so often, uh, all the way up to other 20th century photographers. Yeah, we have a lot of really con exciting contemporary photographers here in town. Jonathan Traviesa, Christina Harris is one, and Christina Knight. Um, can't forget Deborah Luster. We're adding to that all the time. Yeah, really Joseph, exciting. Josephine Sacco. Um, <clears throat> so many really wonderful photographers that are still active in the city here. Okay, so people want to know what inspired our love for photography. Sure, so I think from a historical perspective, I've just always been interested in how important it is uh, to people's lives, and even today, how ubiquitous it is, and like, how it can carry so many meanings at once. How about you? Yeah, it's the same. I mean, I am curious about almost everything in the world, and so in some ways I saw specializing in photography as a way of not specializing. and. I like to say that the history of photography has been the history of almost everything over the past 200 years. It's very multidisciplinary. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Next question is, what is your favorite form of photography? I think that's, that's an easy one for me, and I'm gonna say the platinum print. I think a lot of photographs that you see in a museum like this one are gelatin silver prints, and that means that silver is a sensitized metal. But in platinum prints, they use platinum to make the photograph, and it results in really lush and deep tones. Yeah, it's uh, hard for me to choose. I've seen great and compelling things that move me in almost every different photographic medium. Uh, but I'm a 19th century person, and my first love in this field was for the daguerreotype, which I think is still an amazing, luminous uh, photographic process, and there's really no substitute yeah. for viewing a daguerreotype in person. Yeah. Hey Russell, what do you think is the most interesting photograph in Norman's collection? It's this one. Actually, every photograph in the collection is interesting, but this is one of my favorites. This one happens to be up in our current exhibition, An Ideal Unity, The Bauhaus and Beyond, which was uh, organized by our colleague Ann Roberts. And this is a uh, photograph by Laszlo Molinage, uh, and it was actually an advertisement for a department store, but in it you have these photo collaged elements, added pigment, uh, telling you or asking if you've been to the department store yet, uh, and this kind of visual map that leads you up to it. So it's got a lot of different elements. It's a vintage print from the 1920s and a unique work because of the addition of pigment. Go to shows, look at books, and think about that work. 